God is smiling at you tonight. He's not frowning and getting out his list of everything that you've done wrong all your life. God sees the end from the beginning, and he sees what you are already are in his mind and what you're becoming every day of your life. And he says, before anything else, you must believe that I am your only right standing with God. No amount of our works is going to give us right standing with God. I could pray until I couldn't even talk anymore, and that doesn't mean that God would be pleased with me. He's only going to be pleased if I fully, completely believe that Jesus is who he says that he is and that he did what he said that he did, and I bank my life on that. See, I decided a long time ago, I'm going to be all in or I'm not doing this. I'm going to believe the whole book or I might as well throw it all away. We've got too many people with one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom and they want to be a Christian on Sunday and a sinner the rest of the week. And that's not what God wants. And if you live like that, you don't know who you are in Christ. Because what happens is when you really get the revelation of what Jesus has done for you, you, you not only love him, you fall in love with him. And there is a difference. I remember the first time I said to the Lord, it's like, I love you, but I, I got something going on that's much deeper than that. I am in love with you. You are it. You are my life. I love what Paul said, in you I live and move and have my being. There's nothing that I have any interest in doing if God is not first in my life. And that comes from knowing what he did for you, not from anything else, but knowing how good he is and what he did for you. So that has to be the foundation. We are not justified, made right with God by our works, but by his work. You say, but see, it took me what I'm trying to tell you here tonight took me probably 25 years to get, to really fully believe. And I can, I can understand what some of you, the process of your mind right now, it's like, well, yeah, but. <laughs> but, but yeah, but. Joyce, you just don't know the things I do. You don't know what a mess I am. Well, I can tell you something. If you've been a Christian for 30 years and you're not changing, it's because you lack this revelation that I'm talking about right now. Do you have any idea how many people have a certain love for God and they go off to some religious mausoleum every week and they just hear five more rules that they need to keep for God to be pleased with them and they go out and they just end up giving up on God. They, they, didn't, they never even had God to start with. They had a religion. Jesus didn't die for us to have a religion. He died so we could have an intimate, personal relationship with him through Jesus Christ. We're talking best friend. Never leave you. So right believing, now get this, it's not that God doesn't care about our behavior. The Bible's full of things to do and not to do. But you can't get the cart before the horse. And so the very first thing, the foundation, has to be Jesus and your relationship with God, your personal, intimate relationship with God through him. And once you have that, then right believing begins to produce right behavior. Right behavior doesn't produce right relationship. It never will. But right relationship will produce right behavior. Let's go at it again. <laughs> right behavior never produces a right relationship with God. Because we are not justified before God by our works. Justification comes only by faith. Faith. 